What's up guys and girls, I got a good one for you today. In today's video, we'll be doing a comparison between GPT-4 Turbo and Claude 2.1. I'll be using my typical SEO prompts to generate the full article in the playground mode using GPT-4 Turbo. And I'll also be using the same um, prompts to generate a article using Claude 2.1. And then we'll test the output quality. We'll also test the SEO score, the length of the content. We'll read through the content to see how the output compares. And we'll also be testing the AI detection rates of both of these articles. So let's go ahead and get started. If you would like to use my SEO prompts, I'll leave a link for the prompts in the description below. But this is essentially the process in which I followed. I first went ahead and copied over all of the content which tells the AI how to write in an SEO optimized manner. I copied those system prompts and in the playground mode, I pasted that in. On Claude, unfortunately, there's no um, system prompt. So what I did was I just essentially pasted in the content here right and then i asked claude do you understand yes or no and then it said yes it understood and then i continued with um, prompting the article so then after i primed the ai by entering the system prompts i then went ahead and generated an outline using my prompt for outlines so on the playground mode as you can see here i'm using the same prompt and the topic in which we'll be writing about in today's video is artificial intelligence in accounting I found this keyword using Rank IQ. I just went over to Business AI. And if you're unfamiliar with what Rank IQ is, essentially, this is a library of pre selected high um high volume keywords that are easy to rank so essentially these keywords are already pre-selected by the rank iq team so you can go ahead and find your keyword based upon your niche and you can be pretty um, confident you can actually rank for that keyword you just want to find a keyword that has a fast or very fast time to rank and has a pretty decent visits per year and has a low competition so what i did was i just filtered by business and ai and then i went to the second page and as you can see, I found the keyword artificial intelligence in accounting. There's a competition level of 22. It seems pretty fast to rank. And this is within my niche. So I just use this keyword for the article in which we're writing about today. If you want to check out Rank IQ for yourselves, I'll leave a link for Rank IQ in the description below. So then I generated the outline on GPT-4 Turbo and also on Claude 2.1. And as you can see, this is the outline which we get back. Once I finished generating the outline, I then used the same prompt to generate the full article. Essentially, I told it to write in-depth content to include lists, tables, and I also told it to include external high authoritative websites as sources throughout the article. So then Claude and um, GPT-4 Turbo went ahead and generated the full article. Now, something to note is that I told it to generate each section by section because I wanted to get a full in-depth article that we can have um, a nice comparison to do. So both Claude and um, GPT-4 Turbo did a really good job at generating that content. And this is the full content in which we were able to get back. So this is the article from GPT-4 Turbo. The title is Embracing the Future, How Artificial Intelligence is Revolutionizing Accounting. This is the introduction that we get, Understanding AI's Role in Accounting, The Impact of AI on the Accounting Industry, Key Applications of AI in Accounting, AI Accounting Tools and Softwares, The Future of AI, Preparing for an AI-Driven Accounting Landscape, Ethical Considerations and Data Security, and a Case Study um, about AI in Accounting, and a Conclusion. So overall, this article was about 2,400 words. So in terms of length, very, very happy with this article. In terms of overall format as well, very happy. Um, they have a nice mixture between list and actual um, blobs of of content. I would probably prefer to have a couple more lists at the beginning here because it just seems to be the same type of content. So kind of break it up to make it more more skimmable. That would have been nicer. But as you scroll through the actual article, you see that they do include lists when it talks about AI accounting tools and so on. So they do have a fairly good mix of um, of lists and content. And I think overall, it's a very well done article. Now, here is the article that we got back from Claude, Claude 2.1, how AI is transforming accounting introduction, common accounting tasks that can be automated. Then we get some tasks there, benefits of AI in accounting, um, AI applications in auditing and fraud detection, case studies as well, AI assisting with financial planning and analysis, natural language processing for unstructured data. That's pretty insightful there. Challenges of adopting AI in accounting, steps to successfully implementing AI, the future of AI in accounting looks bright. So as you can see, you get a lot more list style content from Claude. This is generally how Claude does do its writing. It's much more skimmable, um, 
but you don't really get too many paragraphs so that can be a pro or con depending on what type of content you like to write and how you like to format your own content in terms of word count this is about 2119 words so a little bit less than the article that we got back from gpt4 turbo now in terms of output quality this is definitely going to be subjective i've went ahead and read through both of these articles and there's things that i like from gpt4 and there's things that i like from claude 2.1 but overall i am leaning towards gpt4 uh, and that's because it actually is able to include case studies another reason why i liked the gpt4 turbo article a little bit better was because it did include links into the article so i did prompt it to include external links and unfortunately claude actually did not include those external links but gpt4 turbo did now claude does sometimes include links but for some reason for this specific example it did not include any of those links now let's test the seo scores of both of these articles first we're going to start by testing the score of the article that we got back from gpt4 turbo to test the SEO score, we'll be using Neuron Writer. Neuron Writer is an SEO optimizing tool. It allows you to optimize your content for the first page of Google. So right off the bat, we got a 71 from Neuron Writer. I did enter my own title and made a description. I'll be using the same title and made a description for both articles to keep things a little bit fair. But um, GPT-4 scored pretty high. So we're getting a 71, which is currently higher than all of the other top ranked blog posts for this specific keyword. So this is a really, really good sign that we're able to write SEO optimized content using GPT-4 Turbo. So that's 71 from GPT-4. Now let's go ahead and test um, Claude 2.1. Okay, so now this is the content from Claude. Let's see how this does in terms of content optimization. So it's a 65, a little bit lower than what we got back from GPT-4 Turbo. Now, a couple things to note is that every content optimization tool that you use is going to be a little bit different. So maybe you will pop this into search for SEO or phrase and you'll get a different number. But in terms of optimization, just from Neuron Writer, we see that um, GPT-4 Turbo was a lot higher um, compared to Claude 2.1. So GPT-4 Turbo was 71 out of 100, while GPT, sorry, while Claude 2 was 65 out of 100 in terms of content optimization. So for SEO optimization, we can clearly see in terms of the optimization from Nuon Writer that GPT-4 Turbo was better. Now let's go ahead and test the AI detection scores from both of these articles. I presume that Claude 2 is going to do really well in terms of AI detection, while GPT-4 Turbo is going to do not so well um, in terms of AI detection scores. So this is Claude 2. I've went ahead and pasted into um, originality.ai. So let me just make a note here. Then we're going to scan that and see how that does in terms of AI detection. In terms of AI detection, Claude 2 is 59% original and 41% AI. Honestly, this is a pretty good AI detection score because most content is usually um, very easy to detect it, especially if we're using GPT or chat GPT. So 59% original and 41% AI from Claude 2.1, I would say is pretty good. Now let's go ahead and do a new scan. So we're gonna start a new scan and this is GPT-4 Turbo. So in terms of AI detection for GPT-4 Turbo, it is 0% original and 100% AI. As I presumed, um, GPT does not do well when it comes to AI detection scores. So if you're looking to reduce your AI detection, then Claude 2.1 might be a better option for you. So as you guys can see from today's video, there's a lot of pros and cons when it comes to using GPT-4 Turbo versus um, Claude 2.1. As we saw in today's example, GPT-4 Turbo may be able to give you better optimized content. You're able to get a little bit longer content. And in my opinion, I believe the content is a little, little bit better in terms of the output quality compared to Claude 2.1. But if you're interested in reducing your AI score and writing content that will bypass AI detectors, then Claude 2.1 might be a better option for you. So I recommend going out and testing both of these out for yourselves. This is going to vary on the topics in which you're writing about, about the niche that you're in, and really just the um, style that you like the best when it comes to your own blog posts or articles. But this is very exciting times for you and I because we have two high quality, very powerful tools that we can use to generate high quality SEO optimized articles. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little comparison. If you did, let me know by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I would love to hear your opinion as to which you think is better, GPT-4 Turbo or Claude 2.1. Let me know in the comments below.